Alrighty then, here we are with another one, which is The Crew. And The Crew is looking pretty awesome. It's the game by Ubisoft that I was talking about. Um, it's supposed to have drive San Francisco type control, type driving. But it's really, really doesn't have that type of driving. Uh, I was surprised by it and I was pretty impressed actually. So the whole game is supposed to be set across the whole of America. The whole. Of America, you can drive across the whole America of America, not just two cities in America. How crazy is that? So, this game doesn't look the most, you know, the most beautiful. Doesn't look like the most beautiful game on the market. It actually looks something early PlayStation 3, possibly a bit better looking than Midnight Club LA on the PS3. But it doesn't look super pretty. But that's not a bad thing. Um, not what well, is a bad thing, but it's not a super super bad thing. So. First things first that might strike you a bit weird is the driving looks a bit strange and very, very arcade. You know, like the actual arcades that you go to, you see. Yeah, it looks like that. And to me, I wouldn't want that in the game. And basically, what I've looked at after a bit of looking, I realised that it wasn't actually uh, the driving that was at fault. It was, it was actually the camera angles that are at fault. So when they turn, it seems to be locked to the road rather than the car itself. Uh, it doesn't appear. This game doesn't appear to have uh, collisions, which is also good. But yeah, going back to the camera, it doesn't seem right. You know, I hope that they fix that before the start of the game, uh, before they release the game, and I'll be sold. But I'm I'm sold either way. But the driving needs to be sorted. And this is actually the game that the test drive developers were supposed to be working on, um, and have been working on for a while, which is quite surprising. I didn't expect that uh, to be at the Ubisoft conference, which kind of makes sense. But the guys are super, super talented out there. But as you can see, the pretty much the whole of the US is the map. Now, the whole point of the game is to work as a team, the the crew. Uh, you can do challenges, races, whatever. And challenges such as you know taking down opponents, uh, uh, vehicles. You know you can meet up. It's a, basically an MMO. Let that sink in. It's an MMO. Uh, next generation only game, and possibly so far the best racing game that we've seen. Um, this E3, I'm I'm actually taking, it, putting my hand up here and saying this could actually take down Need for Speed. And there's a reason why, not because it, well, obviously racing, racing, probably Need for Speed will keep it. But everything else, this will take it. Open world, working as a crew, you can call your teammates to meet up and do a challenge with you. Across the whole of the US, in an MMO, so you can meet people and challenge them. That's freaking crazy! I just love this idea and I really, really hope this takes on. It is an absolutely amazing idea. So, one thing you can actually do is, you know, you saw earlier that some of them were off-road cars, some of them were track racers, you know, some of them were just normal cars. You know, th there's different types of cars and you can actually customise your car to work better uh, with a certain thing. Now, that is freaking awesome. So I can customise like, my car to be ready to push and ram someone off the road or I can make my car ready to go off-road um, I can make my car ready to street race. You know, that is incredible. Um, what I expect to see, uh, you know, what, what, what I hope to see is, is an in-depth customization. As you can see here, all the cars, car, car parts lift off. We don't really get an idea of what you can put in the car with this video, but we can see that it can well, goes quite in quite into detail with the customization, and those cars come out looking freaking badass, ready to go off road. So it looks like you can pretty much stick with your favorite car throughout the whole game, which to me is absolutely brilliant. Now, obviously, this isn't really a racing game to me. Uh, it doesn't seem like a, a game that's just designed for racing. It seems that all cars would pretty much be on level, even the big Ford Raptors and whatever. They are actually. Uh, licensed cars in this video, which is pretty cool. So, fixing the driving, you know, the, not the driving, no, the driving looks perfect, spot on. You know, it, it's something I, I'd expect from a, a high tier racing game. Uh, test drive developers know how to make a very good uh, racing simulator, well, racing game, especially when you get to off road and you can just slide your car everywhere. But obviously, the camera angle is just a bit weird. That's the only thing I've got against it. The camera angle doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it, it, it should be, you know, it, maybe it's just because I'm used to a certain camera angle, maybe I'll actually get used to this camera angle, you know, for short, small turns it seems better, but for, you know, big turns around corners it doesn't seem very appropriate, 
unless if you can turn, uh, you know, turn the camera yourself, then that's pretty much all forgiven. You know, I, I just hope that there's an option to maybe switch the camera, you know, so I can actually try this camera, see if I prefer it, or if I can, you know, just or, or if you actually change it to a, a, a decent camera that we're all used to. You know, it it when you turn, it seems a bit slow to actually, you know, lock on to your position. That's you know that that's pretty much the only fault I can think of. Um, actually, I just should point out this footage is from Polygon. I'll actually put in the description that this is by Polygon. Thank you very much for the uh, footage. There. It's ex exclusive to them. You know, they've got a, a walkthrough commentary on it, but I've just you know got the the uh, video footage and I'm going to show you it. So, what are your thoughts on this game? You know, it's a massive open world. It's an MMO, so I can you know come to a, a race. You know, I, could, I finish a race and I see some drivers that want to challenge us and I could just go head to head with those guys. That sounds freaking incredible to me. And uh, obviously it seems more, you know, arcade based. It's, it's not really a street racer like Need for Speed. But I, I see it as being more fun as a whole than Need for Speed and it has races. So, you know, it, it it's probably more fun than, um, than Need for Speed. Um, I, I know it's obviously opinionated but to me so far this is looking like I'll actually spend a lot more time on it but you know MMO across the whole of America off-road on-road in the city I don't know how the hell they do it it can't all be local there has to be something you know that there has to be a method that they use you know that it it downloads from the server the current part that you're driving to it you know there's loading it has to do something you know there, there is no way that this is on one disc no chance unless it's just a really 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 small America which is obviously I, I, I don't expect it to be the full of America but obviously it's gonna have the pretty much outline of America which is gonna be freaking awesome but anyway what are your thoughts on it make sure to leave them below and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching peace